Welcome to Drop You, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today... I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. We are serving a meal <laughs> the likes oh, of good. which you have never seen. Because I'm hungry. Is it edible? It's very edible. Mm. That's unbelievable. That's our first promise here at Drafi the restaurant. Who are you? <laughs> I am Chef Drafi. Oh, the chef visited our table. <laughs> and very, I have for you a dish. Very exciting, yeah. I will lift the cloche. Oh, the clo- the cloche. The cloche. The clo- the cloche. What's a cloche? The cloche. <laughs> <laughs> Look underneath. Take a peek underneath. It's a suggestion. Oh, <laughs> suggestion. That's yes. not food. Is it? Yeah, no, that's not food. <laughs> <laughs> it's not food, but it's about food, oh. and it's from the Drafi Patreon discard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you just hang out by our table the whole yeah. meal? No, I have to go right oh, now. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, life of a, a chef. Hey, everyone. I'm here. It's Jacob now. Oh, you missed this chef. Yeah, well, I was you back in the back. You missed the chef that I was we watching, were talking to. Wow. I was watching the food while he was out here oh. to make sure it's okay. I wish you would never come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get that a lot. <laughs> but I am back, and I'm here to tell you what the suggestion says. Okay. Under the, the, the cloche. The cloche. <laughs> As Chef calls it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one comes to us from Al, who said, draw strangely named dishes as people. Oh. Um, and then they, they sent a link, and ha- they said some other stuff that's not important, but that, that part <laughs> is important. Oh. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> you hear that, Al? Keep it short <laughs> yeah. next time. Yeah, if you're planning Let's on keep it tight. We love our patrons. Submitting a Thank suggestion. You. Uh, if you put other stuff in there, it's not important. Yeah, the, well, the chef likes to trim the fat, as yeah. they say. Ooh, Ooh yeah. nice cooking metaphor. <laughs> I was mm. being literal. It's one of those fancy restaurants where they only serve you like just just the taste, just what you <laughs> need to know a about the dish. Personal memory I had about a chef. <laughs> So I've collected, <laughs> uh-huh. I've yeah. traveled the world over, and I've yeah. collected three dishes with names that might be a little funny. Okay. A little, a, they might tickle your fancy they and might, your funny bone. They might <laughs> Is that what you were? creative juices. Yeah. Is that why you were stuck in traffic earlier? Yeah, because I was going the world over before I yeah. got here today. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a lot of traffic in the world today. In the world today. Nathan, Yeah. will you please draw one of these? Yeah. I've got a number for you, and guess what? It's a random number. <laughs> you always do this. Yeah. And the one I got for you is number two. Oh, that's my favorite one. And the one, one I got. Dirty for... water dogs. Can we get some dirt? <laughs> this one's a New York classic. You might be <laughs> yeah. familiar I love with. those dirty water. And it's, this is one person named Dirty Water Dogs. Yeah, this is Dirty Water. It could be one person or like a group of people. Yeah, what if he leads, or what if this person leads the Dirty Water Dogs? Okay. Like yeah. he's the, the Dirty Water Dog of the Dirty the, Water the Dogs. The leader of the Dirty Water Dogs. <laughs> yes. A New so, York institution. Yeah. Some may call him the Dirty Water Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> some may call him that. Dirty Water Dogs. I know I call him that. What about you? I call him that. for Every time I see him, I call him that. Yeah, and you bark a little. And I bark and I howl. <laughs> um, I didn't know <laughs> until I was looking this up yeah. that Dirty Water Dogs is like an actual thing that they're called. Yeah. But I, that's what the like street cart hot dogs that sit in the water. Yeah. They're, they're called dirty water they're like, dogs. Called yeah. dirty water dogs. Because okay. the water gets dirty. hot hot doggier as the day goes on. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. And it, you know, kind of flavors the dogs with yeah. the hot dog flavor of gets the water. It's that unique yeah. smell. That unique smell, we'll call it. <laughs> that dirty water dog smell. Yeah. It's just they're they're basting. They're ba- they're ba- in the blood of their comrades. Mm, yeah. yeah, and that makes them taste better. <laughs> Delicious. Some of them. It's pretty good. I do love a street cart dog. There's nothing quite like it. You know, <laughs> you come to the big city, the Big Apple, get you a dirty water dog. So if you go to a cart and they've just opened for the day. That first dog is not going to be that's, a dirty water yeah. dog. That's a clean that's water dog. That's a clean dog. water dog. Yeah. <laughs> you made a mistake if you go there first thing. <laughs> that's a different that's type a of dog. Classic rookie tourist mistake. Yeah. 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 
And you're going to be like, why doesn't it have that distinctive smell that I'm looking for? <laughs> yeah. Don't get a hot dog first thing in the morning is what we're saying. Yeah. That is won't be not dirty. breakfast of champions. No. no. It's breakfast of stupid idiot losers. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be a stupid uh-huh. idiot loser. <laughs> Clean water dog. <laughs> yeah. God, I could really go for a hot dog right now. Specifically a dirty water dog. Yeah. No, I should just wander outside and find one. Yeah, there's probably one After within all, walking distance. After all, we're in New York City. Oh, hey. It's just a short walk to Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> the city is so small. Yeah, we, we just walk wander there. over. <laughs> all roads lead to Times Square. That's what and they say. And we love it there. <laughs> we go <laughs> to Times Square and cheer. <laughs> we spend all our time there. We go, this is the best part of the city to be in. <laughs> That's why they call it Times Square, because yeah, sh- we're always spending our time we there. Call it all all of our time square. <laughs> That's what I call it. I call it good time square because <laughs> I have my goodest times there. <laughs> the sirens are activating. That's the siren that says it's time, everyone. Yeah, it's to time, go to time to go square. down to Times Square. Everyone, roll call. <laughs> I call Times Square Times Squared because that's what happens to your time there. It, it, get, it, it gets multiplies it multiplies by itself. You can do so much, like go to <laughs> the the M and M store, <laughs> the M and M store, the movie theater that's really gross, um, <laughs> the Disney store. You can go to Bubba Gump, Bubba Gump, Bubba Gump a New York institution, Olive Garden, a New York institution. <laughs> you can get. Sapporo's Pizza. A New York institution. Hard Rock Cafe. A New York institution. <laughs> you can take a picture with Elmo. Definitely Elmo. <laughs> the mayor of New York City. <laughs> Elmo. The people's mayor, they call him. Yeah, Elmo, the people's mayor. The people's princess. Nathan, this looks like they gave McGruff. <laughs> I am just drawing a. <laughs> they, a <laughs> they, they gave him a cartoon spinoff series, and this is like his troubled cousin that comes into town. Yeah, you know? Dirty Water Dog. Yeah, Dirty yeah. Water from Dog. The, from the McGruff series. <laughs> I promised I would never be like you, Dirty Water Dog. That was my first cartoon crush. <laughs> Dirty Water Dog? Yeah, from the McGruff series. Yeah, yeah mine too. And that's why I'm the way I am now. That's why we all do crime. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Dirty Water Dog was like, take a bite into crime. Just give it a taste. (laughs) Just hold it in your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Guess what, McGruff? I took a bite into crime and it was delicious. Well, you find out later in the series that Dirty Water Dog only did the crime to help support an orphanage that was going to go under. Yeah. Or to like keep McGruff on the on the straight and narrow there. Like McGruff <laughs> arrested Dirty Water Dog, but as a result, the orphanage had to close. So it's kind of like what is right and what is wrong. Yeah. yeah. At know? what at what cost? Yeah. At what cost? Like, sure, McGruff did right by the law, but did he do right by the orphans? By the orphans. The answer is <laughs> objectively no. Yeah. The answer is very much no. And so he's got to reckon with that. <laughs> He said, fuck them orphans. <laughs> <laughs> but the law says I can't help the orphans. <laughs> and that's why he was my first cartoon crush. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. He's kind of making sense to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Dirty Water Dog's side. <laughs> yeah. We got to do what's right, no matter what the law says. Yeah. Droppy yeah. says, break the law. Yeah. He seems bad, but actually he's good. Whoa. Has but he, he also that? did kill someone. Oh. But that person deserved it. Yeah. But that, yeah they were they, bad. They had it coming they big had it time. Coming. Lots of good guys in media kill people. It's fine. Yeah. But you shouldn't actually kill people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It's not fine. It's not fine. I mean. Um, hasn't, unless. Hasn't unless. Batman killed people? No, he explicitly doesn't do that. I could have no. sworn he did. No, he just paralyzes them for life. Yeah. Oh, okay, my mistake. He makes sure they're alive. Yeah. They're alive when he leaves. Yeah, as long as they're alive when he leaves. <laughs> that's all he cares about. He checks their pulse, and then it's like, okay. This one's fading. I can't look at him anymore yeah. or else it can't. I, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go. go. <laughs> <laughs>
Another criminal, non-fatally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> fine. <laughs> At least three Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists have killed people, so that must mean it's okay. Yeah, yeah, including, including Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they all have body counts. It's fine. Pierces <laughs> dirty water. Ew. <laughs> it's that New York it's tap. That New York. No, he doesn't do New York tap. It's too clean for him. <laughs> He's like, this water tastes too good for me. <laughs> There's not enough little shrimps in my water. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> he comes around with his dirty glass and he just dips it right into the hot dog water of the cart. And then he takes a big sip. I was like so scared that you were going to say right into the runoff on the street. Mm. <laughs> and no that's one going can survive that. That's going too far for me. Yeah. <laughs> no one can survive. <laughs> <laughs> Not Instant even the dirty death. water dogs. <laughs> he dr you take one sip of that runoff water and it's like the GTA death sound. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted. He's always chasing dirtier and dirtier water, though. That's his like He's high. Chasing dirty waterfalls. Yeah, and you shouldn't go <laughs> doing that. You shouldn't that. go doing that. <laughs> we tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen. It's like you're already used to these dirty rivers and lakes. Why don't you just stick, <laughs> to, stick those? to those? Yeah, you don't know what else is out there. <laughs> you're gonna get wasted. <laughs> in the big city you're always in danger of getting wasted like in gta yeah, that's very true yeah actually that game's very realistic yeah and you'll wake up in the hospital and all your guns will have been taken away <laughs> that's america though and then how are you going to do your missions yeah it's a very mission-based economy here yeah <laughs> it's the gig economy, the gig yeah. economy. <laughs> The only reason you get Drawfee episodes is because we go to a guy mm -hmm. who's marked on our map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and goes, thankfully, yeah, yeah. thankfully, every day he says, make another Drawfee Make another episode. Drawfee. One of these days he's going to say something else, and I'm scared of that Yeah, because we'll have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's always in Times Square, which you're very close to. Yeah. yeah. Well, all every, times, everything is. All the times yeah. square. Yep. Everything in New York is close to Times Square. That's true. It's a very small city. <laughs> they call it the biggest little city in New York. <laughs> 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 they do call it that. Yeah. No one knows why. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mystery until now. We've revealed the truth. You're welcome. What are these arms doing? They're, they're doing, holding they're holding. Things. Yeah, they're doing enough. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing what they need to do to get yeah, the job okay. done. That's what he said when he when he discovered the fate of the orphanage. What are these hands even doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's all my dirty water power for if I can't even save the orphanage? <laughs> <laughs> is, this the, is this the drawing? Yeah, it's yeah. dirty water dog. Some city... Oh, I was uh, going to say stink lines? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bad stink lines. No, he's standing in front of one of those, uh, they put those pipes on top of those oh, yeah. sewers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shoots out the smoke. We get it. You vape. <laughs> <laughs> the whole city vapes. <laughs> That's the heart of the city, vaping. <laughs> vaping. <laughs> Nathan, this is good. Yeah, okay. I like yeah. this dog. This is good. Okay. Yeah, Nathan, I like it. this is good. Thank Got you. a lot of Nathan, character. Nathan, this is good. Thank you. Nathan, this is good. Wow. Nathan, this is good. Okay. Yeah. Nathan, this is good. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dirty water dogs. <laughs> okay, Karina. What? I want you to reveal number one. Number one. Clutie dumpling. What? Clutie dumpling. Clutie dumpling. Clutie dumpling. Clutie dumpling. Clutie dumpling. Need I say more? No. Just a little Clutie, clutie dumpling. What's a Clutie? Tell us what that is. It's like clue? It's kind of like a cutie. It's like a cute little clue. A cute little clue. Okay. That I can do. But it also kind of makes me think of like gluey. Gluey. Or bluey. Bluey. Or bluey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, we're free associating. Or booty, like cutie booty clue. Clue. Dumpling. Can I ask if this is like an, an American recipe? It is not an American okay. recipe. Do I get a hint? I mean, I'll, I can just tell you. Okay. I'm just pulling it up to make sure I say yeah. it right. It's a it's a traditional Scottish okay recipe. It's sort of like a like a fruitcake ass okay looking thing. Is it is it a a steamed pudding? 
type. It, it is a it is a pudding. Yeah, I just wanted to to gauge if it was one of them like real <laughs> real white people recipes. <laughs> the whitest. Like, Some of the whitest we have. Well, you know, like the southern desserts. Oh yeah. Where it's oh yeah. Like Oh yeah, this is a fruit salad. It's like ten jars of marshmallow fluff <laughs> with some maraschino cherries in it. <laughs> and some mayonnaise for some reason. <laughs> Always a little bit of mayonnaise. Yeah, adds a little tang to the fluff. Yeah. yeah, gotta add some tang to your fluff. I legitimately love those fucked up salads, though. I respect it, but I didn't grow up with it, so it does kind of gross me out as an adult. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's It should gross you out. Yeah. <laughs> However, I ate it as a child, and thus I was changed. Yeah. I'm I like, was I transmuted. Get it. I understand. I'm half white. I get it. <laughs> half of you gets it. Yeah. The other half is repulsed. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the other half is filipino and and there there's some interesting things going on in the cuisine there as well everyone's they, they got like weird a, cuisine. yeah they got like a filipino yeah. version of something fucked up like that yeah yeah kind of. i love this stance this is a dumpling shape yeah, yeah. very dumpling just gotta do cludy who are you who are, who you? are you cludy tell me tell me cludy is there a character whose last name is like cludy Probably. It's really, it's really. There are a lot of characters. That's they, true. At this point, in in our lifetime, <laughs> they've been making characters for so long. Some one of them's got to be named Cludy, or something like Cludy. It's giving hat. Do you want to know what the Cludy is? Yeah. I yeah. Just just because I don't know at all. The Cludy is is a cloth. What? Okay. So they make this like dough. Out of like fruits and and grains and stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they get a the wet cludy cloth, mm -hmm. ah. and they put it in there, tie it up, drop it in the boiling water into the dirty water into the dirty water with the dogs, and um, then you take it out and you got yourself a a cludy dumpling. So it's not a, it's not oh. a steamed pudding; it's a boiled pudding. Well, okay, you, you that makes sense. You boil it like, and then you bake it. You, oh, like, Cludy doesn't sound like a food name. That's what was throwing me. So it's the cloth. It's the, the cloth. Like a cheese cloth. It's a Cludy. Well, there's apparently a, a phrase that goes with the with a uh, Cludy dumpling in it as a Scottish phrase. There's a phrase. Yeah, it's something about discarding your clothes before summer, something like that. I, I'll have to look this up. And... Cludy dumpling phrase. Like saying, it's like a Scottish saying. Saying, I was really sure Julia was was setting up for like a a bad pun. Yeah, I thought no. so too. But yeah, she just, <laughs> I was like, I don't, of, this could go anywhere. The tone of voice you had, I was like, <laughs> what is it gonna be? But well, you were I just also, you were just saying yeah. a real thing. You just happened to have a piece of actual. Yeah, you've conditioned us to to be on <laughs> to be on edge when you yeah. when you very dryly state something. It's state like, fact. It's like, oh, where's this going? I've learned something really good here. Okay. okay. First of all, this says, like all traditional puddings, Cludy dumplings come with their own set of traditions. Okay. When it's being made, everyone should give it a good scalp or smack. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to make sure it has a nice round shape. <laughs> that Cludy slap. Yeah, so everyone has to give it a little Cludy slap. The whole family has to gather around. Okay, we all slap the Cludy we dumplings. All slap it. Yeah. Did you find the phrase yet? I have not found the phrase. Yeah, keep hitting me with facts because I just want to know. I also discovered- I like to know new things. The character I was thinking of is from Winona Earp. It's one of the witches. Oh. So you also put into it, it's sort of like the um, the baby cake, the New Orleans baby cake. Oh, King cake. King cake. King cake baby. Except you put in various charms into the Cludy dumpling, and then it's like tells the future of the person who gets so it. So when you bite what? into it, you might get a, a non-edible- you might get a coin. <laughs> yeah. Which means wealth. My dumb ass. You said charms and I was like, anime keychain. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean if I get like an anime keychain? It means uh, you have anime in your future. Yeah. What if it's like one of the fucking like N star boys? What does it mean? You have an end star boy in your future. You can't just say that's what it means. <laughs> Give me something specific to work with. Come on. Okay. 
What does the coin mean? The coin means wealth, uh, yeah, believe it or not. A ring signifies marriage. Mellage. A wishbone promises the finder their heart's desire. Why are you putting <laughs> wishbones putting in the cake? Bone. <laughs> the bone yeah, also bone provides that a nice, from? That <laughs> nice uh, umami flavor yeah. to the, uh, oh to my the dumpling. God. Here's the most messed up ones, though. Mm -hmm. The man who finds a button and the woman who gets a thimble are destined to stay single. <laughs> Damn. What? <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> They're destined. That's awesome. It does not say what happens if the woman finds the button or the man finds the thimble. I don't know what that yeah, that's, does. That's too powerful negates, the other way. Yeah. yeah. I found the saying, by the way. Okay. Okay, okay. what's the saying? Nair cast a clout till maize ut, which uh, is a warning not to shed any clothes before summer has arrived, and the may trees and the hedges are in full bloom. I, I actually found the saying right as you started saying it. Well. Because it's uh, on Wikipedia. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> Apparently in English, it's nair cast a clout till may be out. Oh, till clout. may be out. May be out. I just want this little baby to point to people and be like, you got me single. You got me single. <laughs> you choke on a bone. <laughs> and you're getting married. Congratulations. And you're going to watch anime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting the wishbone in his hat. Just walks up to people quietly with his hand out puts a button in their hand and just stares at them <laughs> blankly. <laughs> just puts it in there and goes, enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs> Walks backwards. <laughs> Goodbye. Maintaining eye contact. You better get some hobbies. More, more time for gaming. <laughs> you better get some hobbies. Hands you an N-Stars keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a hypno mic. I don't fucking know. <laughs> this is such a like, threatening <laughs> he looks like a little mayor <laughs> why because he's wearing a hat he looks nothing like elmo <laughs> this is not the people's mayor no <laughs> i just like how his head is like slightly downturned and he's looking up at you like you know what's about to happen <laughs> we all know what's about you're to about happen. to get a button <laughs> <laughs> you're about to get your destiny handed to you are you ready <laughs> you avoid the clutie dumpling and then at night, you wake up and he's crawling in your window. He's crawling out of your window and he's just pointing to your shoe where he's left a button. Winks and flies away into the night. Well, if he comes in your window, you have to slap him before he gives you a charm. Oh, right. <laughs> if you manage to slap him, then he has to leave. Yeah. Can someone make this uh, this game? Of trying to <laughs> cludy dumpling proof your house. Yeah. You have to close all your windows. <laughs> Survival keeps... horror. Yeah. Cludy <laughs> dumpling. He keeps opening your windows as this little guy crawling in. Trying to put buttons in your shoes. Yeah, yeah, it's survival horror, but you can slap him. Yeah. It's like the equivalent of shining the flashlight on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you have <laughs> like only so much battery power to power your slaps. Whenever you slap him, you just go, ah! <laughs> he falls out the window. I indicate that for myself. Flashlight. <laughs> window. <laughs> I can't wait to get the message uh, in a couple of weeks that says, what the hell was this again? <laughs> what did I do? Like, here, I made the game that you asked for. And we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, there is that horror game about slapping the spaghetti. Yes. Where you have to slap your spaghetti to keep it hot. Yes. And it's a horror game. And, but yeah. there's like also like monsters coming at you. So you have to like stop slapping to like shine a light on the monsters. But if you sl stop slapping for too long, your spaghetti gets cold. <laughs> you want to slap it, keep it hot. Yeah, you know, the friction, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always. I should try that the next time I'm eating spaghetti. Yeah, well, the internet, the internet was obsessed too fast. for a while on how many slaps it would take to cook a turkey. You remember that phase? Yeah, there was like a whole thing. There was like, even a Mythbusters episode about how many slaps it would take to cook a turkey. Or didn't better. they make like a turkey slapping machine? Someone made a turkey slapping machine. Let me pull this up. And That's it awesome. slapped the turkey like thousands of times. Simpler times. I realized that turkey slapping is going to be an interesting... The game, by the way, is called Spaghetti. Okay. It's got a 93% rating on Steam. Nice. Nice. And um, you you do slap the spaghetti. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't doubt it for a second that so, you slap the spaghetti. In order to cook a chicken with a single slap, 
you would need to hit the chicken with a velocity <laughs> of 3,725 miles per hour. So the chicken would explode, <laughs> but it would be cooked. Yeah, but the earth, <laughs> the earth rotates at approximately 1,000 miles per hour. So you would have to go three times Earth's rotational speed. Okay. That's a hell of a slap. I could probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy. If anyone could do it, I think it'd be Nathan. The Earth's spinning so slow. Yeah. It takes, I don't it takes feel 24 it. hours. I don't even feel it. You would feel my slap. <laughs> my, my chicken cooking I'd slap. I'd make sure you felt it. <laughs> when Nathan slaps you, it cooks your entire head instantaneously. Yeah. yeah. Killing you. <laughs> so the average number of slaps needed to cook a chicken is twenty three thousand and thirty four. That's like not that many slaps. So what you're saying is that the oven slaps my food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty. Basically, that's great, Karina. I love Cludy Dumpling. <laughs> yeah, Cludy Dumpling is. I never want to meet him, but I do want to slap him. I do want to slap him a but little. You can't slap him. Mm. We'll see about we'll that. We'll see about that. <laughs> if he comes in my he house, have eyebrows. <laughs> he doesn't need them. Well, let me just do like eyelids. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he's perfect. <laughs> my perfect boy he can't slap me. <laughs> he looks a little like my nephew, and that's that's upsetting we keep drawing your nephew everybody's we nephew get looks it. like this. your nephew looks like a baby he's like a perfectly <laughs> round baby is your nephew a baby whoa <laughs> let me draw get yeah julia's here. turn i'm sick of this guy <laughs> all right julia yeah only one left are you gonna randomly roll me a number number should... three did you roll that though yeah no. was that random it doesn't seem very random. You can't randomly select a single number. You all know this. Mm. Mm. Just click it. Devils on, Devils horseback. on horseback. Oh, How come I couldn't draw Devils on Horseback? Devils on Horseback. Mm. Can I draw a horse? You have to draw a horse back. You just have to draw its back. Yeah. Okay. And put all some right. put some devils on it. Yeah. All right. Or just one. I had dogs and I just drew one dog. You could draw one devil or a bunch of devils. This could be the leader of the devils on horseback. Right, yes. Do you think oh. they're feuding with the dirty water dogs? If they're in New York, they're feuding. If yeah. you're if you're part of a gang that has a name, you're feuding. Oh, I was about to say, yeah, it is just one big PvP zone. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in New York. <laughs> Especially in Times Square. Times Square is a PvP zone. Yeah, everyone's flagged. Yeah. For PvP. Uh, do you want to know about devils on horseback? Yeah, why not? They are a hot appetizer. Hot appetizer. Sexy. Of dried fruit stuffed with such ingredients as cheese or nuts. Interesting. Wrapped in bacon, prosciutto, or pancetta. Ooh. The traditional form is made with a pitted date and bacon, but prunes are also used, usually steeped in brandy or liqueur. That sounds good. They're then yeah. fried or baked in the oven and quite often served on toast with chutney and mustard. Yo, that sounds good. I like, I like a bacon wrap. I, I've had these before. I never knew they were called devils on horseback. Devils which, on horseback. Yeah, who named it that? Which part is the devil and which is the horseback? <laughs> it goes up to a couple. <laughs> <laughs> which one of you is the devil, devil so which one of and you's... which one of you is the horse? <laughs> 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 I mean, it kind of is like, you know, top and bottom vibes. I wasn't going to say You're either it. the devil or you're the horse. <laughs> uh, according to Wikipedia, the origin of the name is unclear. <laughs> um, okay. The Oxford English D Dictionary states they are probably so called on account of being typically served very hot and gives the earliest reference to 1885 in American agricultural magazine, The Country Gentleman. I was about to say, this sounds like such a southern ass dish because it's like the South is obsessed with putting the devil in things, in like freezes, like the devil's beating his wife or whatever that one was that you told me. Yeah, when it's raining and the sun is out, oh, yeah. they say the devil's beating his wife. Who's What's the with devil's, that? Who's the devil's wife? People don't talk about the devil's wife very often, but- Mrs. Satan. She's she's down there. She's down there. Wish it were me. And it is not a healthy relationship, no. I'll tell you that <laughs> for free. Something that might surprise you yeah, okay. is that um, this recipe is a variation on another recipe. Whoa. 
called Angels on Horseback. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what's Angels? What's the difference? Angels on Horseback is oysters wrapped in bacon. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's Angels on Horseback, which makes it seem like the horse is the bacon. The horse is the bacon, so the devil is fruit, <laughs> the and the angel is oyster. His oyster. <laughs> what Two opposing factions. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept this all as one big metaphor. Let's go. Control F, control replace the Bible. With oysters and <laughs> dried fruit. And dried fruit. Yeah, I don't know why these things are called this, but because you got stuff like ants on a log. Yeah. And, the, and that's called because that because it, it looks it like it. It looks like sort of if you zoomed in on a log with some ants on it, it would look like that. But then you got like deviled eggs. Why is that related to the devil? They're sinful. Well, it's the opposite Those of eggs. angeled eggs, which are eggs with, with oysters. oysters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think uh, devils on horseback is because they tell you not to eat pig in the Bible? But the, but the angels on horseback is too. You, it's shellfish it's, is it, also yeah. Not to, it's, it's like, like a wait a minute. Another thing that's a sin. <laughs> Maybe it's a double negative. So it's like if they you do if you do out. shellfish with pork, it's fine. Yeah, it's that's fine. actually like a, a like hack Bible hack. <laughs> Bible hack is that if you do two sins at once, they cancel each other out. Yeah, and you can still go to heaven. <laughs> That's why when I commit murder, I make sure I'm also really horny. Yeah, that's why the saying <laughs> is um, be gay, do crime. <laughs> exactly, because it cancels out. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually just really good advice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're Christian. <laughs> if, you're, if you're planning on doing crimes, try being gay first. Yeah, that way they cancel each other out. Yeah. Auto forgiveness, Perfect. straight to heaven. Yeah. Dude, that do not pass go. <laughs> if you're gay, you can do literally as much crime as you want. Yeah, you're it, always committing the crime of being gay. Yeah. Wow. The biblical crime. Yeah. Debatably, depending on what translation you're looking at. Yeah, what, what year that translation came out. And what year that out. translation came out. I haven't read the original, you know, Hebrew texts, but <laughs> I think you're fine to do crime. Yeah. This is really cool, Julia. Yeah. Thank you. I do like that he's wearing a jacket. He and Dirty Water Dog go, go to the same jacket store. <laughs> I'm a jacket. Do you need anything? <laughs> <laughs> this is what they're feuding over. <laughs> they're like, someone has to change. <laughs> We keep wearing the same jacket. It's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm real excited for this horseback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As am I. <laughs> Julie is the most excited. We know that. Yeah. I love to draw a horse. <laughs> well, the horse could be a metaphor. Oh, sure. Sometimes a motorcycle's a horse. Oh, that's a steel horse. Yeah. yeah. Bon you, Jovi wrote on that. You prefer to draw a motorcycle, right? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, Take your that'd, pick. That'd be better for you, I think. Yeah. Um, a horse could also be a, uh, a Jeep. A no. Jeep. <laughs> I was like, what do you call it? The The drawing horse. A sawhorse? Yeah, a sawhorse. A sawhorse. The one that's like this? Yeah. I'm trying to think of easier horses. <laughs> You're welcome. Could yeah. Do a, could do a, a, yeah. Ro a rocking horse? Mm. What about a pommel horse? Oh, sure. Like he's about to do like a acrobatic maneuver and he's about to. Isn't that the, that's that horse? <laughs> yeah. That you yeah, do yeah, like yeah. the stunts off of? Stunts. Stunt horse. Stunt horse. What if he's horsing around? Oh, sure. Uh-huh. He's just doing some horseplay. What is on hor horse playback? <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean if you're horsing around but on horseback? You're horsebacking around. <laughs> <laughs> He's horsebacking it up. <laughs> He's horse horsing. <laughs> it's by the way frowned upon in the horseback riding community. Eh? To horse horse. To double horse. Yeah. What does that mean? You can't horse on the horse. If you're on the horse, you can't horse. Like two horses at the same time? 
You if you can't... were to ride two horses at the same time, would they be stacked on top of each <laughs> other? Or would you just have a really wide, like, split sit across two oh, horses like standing Claude side by Dam. side? Yeah. <laughs> I think one horse is already too tall. Yeah. So I personally wouldn't stack the horses. Okay, I'd, so I'd, go, I'd go wide. I'd go wide. wide. And I just learned to do a split. Yeah. Yeah. I think that get, would be more fun and impressive. Two really skinny horses and see if I can't just sort of get a leg up on each one. <laughs> well, you forgot to account for you could do two horses, one in front of the other. Sort of and, like a, and, a human centipede of horses. And then you're sort of like laying across. <laughs> Don't call it a human centipede of horses. <laughs> well, that you have it's to consider it. It's a horse it. centipede. Consider a Idiot. horse centipede. They don't, need to, they don't need to be attached, though. Well, they could be. You just need to be. <laughs> they, could, they could be, You I just guess. need to technically be riding both of them at the same what time. Into. Yeah. How would it be at the same time if they were just walking in a line? Well, well, you're you're, like, you're on your your feet. You're sort of you're planking. Oh, yeah, you're, you're the planking. center part of the centipede, and your feet are on the one horse's head, and your head is on the other horse's butt. Yeah. So you're the center part of the centipede. Yeah. yeah. But you're not. It doesn't have to be attached. But it could. Be. But it could, <laughs> it could be if, you, <laughs> if, if it that, helps. If, that's, if it helps. If that's what you're into. <laughs> yeah, you're just suspended in between them. But it doesn't yeah. have to be. Can you tell me again what's in a devil's on horseback? Please. It's a dried fruit stuffed with cheese or nuts that is wrapped in bacon and then fried or baked. Do we think that it's fruit? Because like, you know, Hieronymus Bosch's uh, Garden of Earthly Delights, it's like things that weren't accessible to. I don't think it goes back that far. The recipe. The yeah, devil but does, like. <laughs> but like religious people love. Haven't you heard he's in the details? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> details I am not accomplishing. He today. showed up in the American South when they were making this dish and they were like, hey, um, if you want to name this after me, there's actually some historical context that I think would be really, <laughs> might be useful. Also, does anyone want to like have a fiddle off? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've been practicing for a really long time and uh, no one in Europe wanted to do that. So, so I came down to Georgia. You guys, you guys seem like You've got a lot of hubris. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe you want to take me on. Anyone? I'm just gonna, just gonna keep eating your. I mean, these are really tasty. It's actually, maybe, it's actually really cool that you named these after me. Maybe the devil gets to pick certain foods that he can label mm. with devil. Yeah, and if you eat those, it's like insta hell. Yeah, insta hell. And like we've all fallen for it, like easy peasy. Like a modern apple. Yeah, like the apple from Eden. Like a modern apple. The big apple. <laughs> the New big York apple, City. baby. <laughs> New York City. The big Times City. Square. It all comes back to Times <laughs> Square. I can tell you that the runoff water, insta hell. Yeah. Insta hell. Yeah. You are going straight to the like deepest part of hell. The runoff if you, water. If you drink that shit. The hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> New York City, many people call it the hell of earth. <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's like bacon. Because it's delicious, <laughs> sinfully delicious. Mm. But just make sure you do another crime while you're here. Yeah. And it'll cancel out. Yeah, you got to do two crimes at the same time. Time crimes. Time crime. Time square. Crime square. Crime square. I like I like what you did there, Julia. The horse is, is grazing. <laughs> yeah, you did the horse back. <laughs> yeah. And you leave the rest to the imagination. Yeah, exactly. As it should be. Yeah. Just the pose you've given this horse, it's just like it it, it has stopped to graze. Like this guy yeah. is not moving quickly. Well, it stopped to drink the runoff water. Oh, because it's a hell horse. Yeah, in Times Square. In <laughs> yeah, Times Square. it's like I got to get my fix. <laughs> <laughs> So a little hot dog cart. Um... <laughs> You're like, and now I will draw Times Square. Yeah, just put Times Square back there. Yeah, the whole thing. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Nuts for nuts. Get some nuts for nuts going. Nuts for nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Nuts for nuts. 
Nuts, nuts, nuts. Nuts yeah. for nuts. If you need any reference, just look out the window. Because we're there, baby. We're there. Oh, heart of New York City. The whole world <laughs> is at our fingertips. The drop wow. office is in Times Square. New York City is just Times Yeah, Square. but don't tell anyone. We're very private about our location. And it's in Times Square. Now you're in New York. <laughs> Concrete jungle now is in Times Square. <laughs> you know? It is in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is. you know how like church bells every hour they play that little ditty. Yeah, uh-huh. in in Times Square, that's what they play that song. Every Empire hour. State of Mind. Every, every hour, hour for an hour. <laughs> They yeah, they it. slow it down yeah. so that the one Every song. Every hour for an hour. So it starts over again yeah. immediately. That's how you know what time it is. That's how you, know. you can tell by how far you in, you are into the slowed down version of Because they play it song. the number of times of the hour that it is. Oh, so and it, it speeds like, up. Yeah, it speeds up as the day goes on. <laughs> it's still <laughs> slow. Yeah, yeah, but it's slightly faster each time until it gets to 12. Yeah, one o'clock is one time speed, so it's normal. Two o'clock is two time speed. Well, one o'clock is the slowest because it plays one time, but for a full hour. It, it slowed, oh, okay, it slowed yeah. down and to fill the hour. And then at two the o'clock, hour. it's twice in Yeah, twice hour. in the hour. Doubles in speed. Yeah. In New York, you just learn to like sense the tempo. Yeah. 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 To know what time it is. Yeah, we have to do a lot of um audio editing to get it out of the background of all of Yeah, our you wouldn't episodes. know that it's playing right now, but yeah. what can we say? Our editor is very talented. Yeah, way to go, David. Thanks, David, for always editing out the sounds of Times Square, <laughs> where we record. Oh, baby. <laughs> Greatest city in the world. Uh, I think I'm done. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this guy. I'm excited to see if you remember that it's Times Square in the render. How could you forget? Just look out the window. Yeah, it's right there where it always is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> well, I'm not hungry anymore. Did you all enjoy your meal? I am full. I miss the chef. Do not have to miss the <laughs> chef. <laughs> Now he wow. has returned to see yeah. you. So happy. Enjoyed the mail. I did. The mail. I enjoyed Which the ma- mail. I enjoyed the mail. <laughs> did you Let us it? G- comment down below which mail you enjoy the most. <laughs> what is your favorite mail? <laughs> which cars was your favorite? Which yeah, and then subscribe and go to our Patreon and send us a message. Telling us which curse is your favorite. I don't get paid unless we get subscriptions <laughs> to Drow Fee. Yeah, so remember that. Yeah. <laughs> we have to pay our <laughs> <laughs> Please pay me. And he's <laughs> turning into four. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. If you, if you we need to pay our, him. <laughs> if you don't buy our merch, he's going to turn into four. <laughs> and we don't want that. If you don't pay me, it's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, quick, fast. Remember that we stream on Twitch before it's too late. <laughs> oh, we're sorry. 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 <laughs>